Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you with today's Jinxed tutorial. I've tried to hammer this one out and I keep uh, messing up and blundering. It's the case of the Mondays. And uh, yeah, it might be Tuesday when you see this video though. I don't know for sure. But today we're doing a 3x3 sliding door. This door does use slime blocks, uh, but it has a really cool opening and closing sequence. So as you can see, you go in, you press the button, it opens from both sides and it closes nice and sharp. That's a couple of the things that everybody on this channel loves the most. Uh, the big thing is people want to open it from inside and outside, <clears throat> and having one that closes on its own actually is a pretty handy feature. So I'm going to tell you what you need for this build, guys. You're going to need 23 obsidian or a movable block, so you could use <clears throat> furnaces, leaves, melons, note blocks, all kinds of choices that are cheaper than obsidian. However, uh, building with obsidian is just a lot easier for the tutorial. Six slime blocks, six sticky pistons, three redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, five half slabs. Just bring yourself a stack of blocks before you're done this one. Uh, two buttons, 27 dust, three redstone torches, and uh, actually it's four redstone torches, and one redstone block. So before we jump into this build, don't forget to smash that like and show some love for Skippy6 Gaming and my daily minecraft uploads and uh yeah let's go so for this build guys you do not need one this wide but in the previous tutorials it just gets too tight to fit in so for your build what you're going to do is go ahead and make a five long seven wide four deep you only actually need a three long uh, but you need to get in there so uh, it turns into quite a pain in the butt so let's start this off with two sticky pistons in the bottom right here looks good so now let's just start our frame of our door. So basically we know that the door frame is going to be one away from the sides because uh, that's our space to move. And it's going to be right there. So let's go ahead and put one on both sides like that. Then what we're gonna want is in the middle two with your immovable block right here. And it's gonna be three high. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, it's easier to get this out of the way now. You will need, you will need uh, four more pieces of obsidian outside of the frame uh, that said we're going to do the same thing on the top here and just make our frame because we know all of these are going to touch the slime blocks and we're good looking good so far let's get rid of this guy so once we've done this we're going to want to get our slime blocks which uh, in all versions of this tutorial was not present ever and uh, yeah let's go ahead and put three slime blocks right here and then on the bottom here, what we're going to do is, I just want to make sure I totally did it the right way. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's all about orientation when I'm trying to build because I keep confusing each side. So this one here, we're going to go ahead and put slime blocks right there, there, and there. Okay, looks good. So now let's build the rest of our frame of the door. We're going to do so by doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and put right up on the side like this noob right here do the same thing on this side let's do it to this side too and then we're going to fill in the door now too uh, might as well get all of this stuff out of the way at one time so now that we've done this we know that our door is going to be made out of stone and it's going to be right here for the top layer and down here for the bottom two layers very good very good. So let's go ahead and grab our buttons, which are going to be so hard to see, but we'll put item frames on them after. And let's start powering this guy. Uh, I have these torches here just because I was so enclosed in the last tutorial. It was so dark. So the button power is going to come out to here, to these blocks right here. We're going to put a block up in the middle of them. Let's go ahead and put a redstone dust right here, right here. Grab a redstone torch, torch right here. Block right there. Once you put that block, one redstone torch right there, one redstone torch right there, and then come up here and make a 3Z and cover the whole top like that. Okay, so now we're gonna grab a couple more movable blocks. Again, obsidian, furnaces, whatevs. Put one there, one there. Once we've done this, let's go ahead and get ready to put three sticky pistons facing down into those blocks. So this is a little tricky, but I got it, I got it. Good to go, okay, so. What we're also going to want to do here is grab redstone repeaters and we're going to want to put a redstone repeater here on two ticks, a repeater here on four ticks delay. Go ahead and put a dust right here, right here, and then carry it down the side. Looking good so far, looking good so far. 
uh, let's go ahead and start on uh, let's go ahead and start on the next part so let's go down here and then what we're gonna do is as you can see we're gonna go down here and create a little fun cavity we're gonna go ahead and throw a sticky piston right up there that sticky piston is going to have a redstone block on it and then what we want is for when this redstone block when it comes down i like so much room here man when this is without those side walls oh my god so let's go ahead this guy's going to come down it's going to go to this block to this block and this block then there's going to be two blocks on the floor once we've done this we're going to go ahead and put a block up here and a block down here looks good to me looks good to me so let's go over to the other side and start getting our comparators which I have removed from my inventory in such a bad way and let's go ahead and replace this guy so first repeat first comparator is gonna go this way into this guy second repeater this way into this guy redstone dust here here and here looks good switch around to the other side here now what we're going to do here guys is what we really want to do is grab yourself another immovable block put it right here redstone torch on the side immovable block right here regular block right here looks good grab yourself redstone dust here and here looks good once this redstone dust right here is there let's go ahead and put one more immovable block we're gonna get rid of this guy look at our moo cow this mushroom's been here ever since the bouncy castle wherever the bouncy castle is he's been following me around uh let's go and this guy here redstone block up or immovable block right here whether it's a furnace or obsidian this guy right here so let's go ahead and start making our tower up so what we're going to want is a block right here and what we're going to want is a half slab right here so let's go ahead and just dust that up that's going to dust that's going to dust so all we have to do right now is go ahead and throw a block right here should open up good let's go ahead and put two tick repeater right there and we got the bottom coming through so that's really good that's really good so now we just got to do is uh, bring this power up which is actually pretty straightforward let's go ahead and put this guy here there there and then just bring your redstone power up 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 and push down and there you go guys looks to me like we just did a mission accomplished looking good looking sharp and then just fill it in however you want guys i like it i think it has a really cool sequence for opening and closing uh again you can make this brown if you really wanted to i think note blocks would work as an equivalent but you could cover up the obsidian as well kind of on the top and uh, make it look a little sharper but there you go guys thanks for tuning in i love it i love it i love it this is actually going to make its way into uh one of my survival worlds, I think, because it's pretty easy. Uh, 23 obsidian is not that hard of a thing to get. And, uh, yeah, I like the closing sequence the best. So, there we are. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget, as well, to subscribe to my channel for some more Wicked uh, Let's Plays tutorials and daily Minecraft uploads. And I'll catch you tomorrow.